See that? That's chicken ball. The recipe I'll share with you today is a hometown favorite. It's one I grew up with. I've been cooking it since I was knee high. And it's chicken bog. What chicken bog is is basically it's chicken and rice and sausage cooked in the big pot and it serves a lot of people. Something that I've been cooking a long time. We'll do an extra twist on it today though. We're cooking on a Dutch oven inside a Weber kettle grill with charcoal. So we're not using a traditional burner or stove top. We're going to take an old school campfire style. So come on, let's show you how we're going to prep this stuff and get this thing cooking. So meet you in the kitchen start prepping so we can get it cooking. Okay, so here's the basic ingredients we have in four hour chicken bog. A tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of kosher salt, one medium onion chopped, doing five whole chicken thighs. We'll cook this on the Dutch oven on the Weber kettle grill with charcoal around. Old school style, campfire style. All right, we're gonna put our chicken thighs in the cast iron pot, put our other ingredients. So let's get this party started. First thing I'm doing is just put my chicken thighs right in the pot. Then I'm coming around and add about four cups of water. I want to kind of almost submerge this right here. Now this water I'm cooking right now is going to be used at a later date for uh, my chicken or my rice. So I want to make sure I got enough water in there. And we might add water as we go and then when we get through it we'll measure it out to make sure we got enough rice to water ratio. Next thing I'm going to do is add my salt. Then I'm going to add my black pepper. Then I'm gonna add in my whole onion chopped. This, like I said, this is just a very simple chicken bug, South Carolina style. So we're gonna put the lid on this while we've got charcoal getting hot. Then we'll put this on the grill, start cooking. So stick around. Our chicken here is man, it's good and done. It's falling off the bone. That's what we're looking for right there. So we're gonna pull this chicken off, let it cool down. Once it's cool down, we can handle it. We're gonna start separating it. Then start measuring our juice back out. Put a rice in it, start finish cooking it. Just gonna take this off and just kind of let it rest a little while. So our chicken has been calmed down and resting a little while. We'll come in here, we're just gonna take it and stretch it apart and just pull the bones out of it. They bought the chicken and stuff we can get in there all we can, all the meat. We're just gonna take the bones out. So I got that. I'll come in here and just start shredding a little more. So now we will let this rest a second, get our rice, start putting our rice and stuff in here, and we'll be right back. All right, we got our chicken separated. We're gonna put this back in the grill and start getting the water hot. Once we start getting the water was boiling, we'll start adding the rice to it. We're gonna put it right in there and drop back down the middle. Keep it, try to keep it level, best you can there. That's what you wanna do, because you don't wanna run over. Just don't wanna run over in your grill, so you're gonna have to kinda of be, don't overflow it with rice and stuff in there. We're gonna put this back in here and let it keep, go back to cooking and get the, rice and stuff be on there in a little while. See where we are. All right, we're starting to boil good. Our water just starting to boil with this. With this, we're gonna add our rice to it. One thing to remember about when you're cooking cast iron like this, you don't get a hard boil all the way around it, and that's fine. So what we're looking for is gonna add the rice in there. So we started about four cups of water. We've been cooking here, so we probably got down to about three cups of water. But I'm gonna take a spoon and see the depth on there. So my depth of my spoon here is about that. So when I add to it, I want to do about a time and a half of that. So that's what we got here. It's gonna be about. About an inch, so let's see what we got. I'll pour it in there. Then we're gonna just stir it in.
And that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna put the lid back on this. Just kind of let this simmer and cook. And then we'll start having just a good chicken bog come together. All right, so with every chicken bog, a good thing to always add to it is some sausage. We use some beef smoked sausage. We're gonna go in there and add into it. Our rice is getting about halfway done. So that's when we start adding our sausage to it. So we're gonna come here and just get these beef sausages and get a slicer. So we're just gonna cut this up. My philosophy is can't have enough sausage in anything. So now you wanna add the sausage to your chicken bog before the rice is all done. So I'm gonna take my sausage, dump it right in there. Then I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. So now we've added the sausage to the rice. We've got it in the bed of coals, it's still cooking. About another 10 minutes, allow the shock of the sausage, the cold going into that rice and mixture, allow it kind of to wear off and then we'll start keeping an eye on it. We wanna make sure we don't burn this. One thing I remember about a cast iron pot, once you get close, take it off because the heat of this cast iron is to continue to cook. I'll show you this picture of this here before we start serving out of it. See that? That's chicken bone. That's chicken, that's rice, that's sausage, that's black pepper, kosher salt, a little bit of onions. And that's just a hometown Southern good food. So let's plate this up and see what we got. It's a good spoonful of this. Man, that looks good. See that sausage and everything in it? See how moist that looks? See how the rice is just good and flaky, it's coming apart? That's good, man. It ain't cakey. That's what we don't want. We don't want a cake. We don't want a casserole. This is Dutch oven chicken bog. We're we'll gonna taste this, see what it tastes like. You gotta eat this. You gotta love it. It's amazing. Man, it's what I love. Got good pepper coming through it. Got good flavor in there. A little bit of that heat to it. The salt kind of melts into it with chicken and the rice and stuff. You, you just gotta love it. In a cold day like it is today, this is a hits the spot. I wanna just keep it. Anybody tries this recipe, you gonna fall in love with it. So if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe to us. Turn the notification bell down at the bottom. If you have any questions, comment, leave in the comment section down below. First and foremost, I want to say thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. It means a lot to us, it really does. That's what Lee Barbecue Smokers wants to do. We want to share information. So this ain't technically a barbecue, it's outdoor cooking. We lost Dolly's plate. This ain't technically barbecue, but it is still an outdoor cooking, and that's what we do enjoy. Cold daylight day, this is something you need to try. So make sure you try this recipe out. Dolly, you want some? I'm gonna give you a plate today, Daryl. This is too much fun right here if you do not have a plate. Let's see what she thinks. Come here. Come on. Here, see it? You wanna try this? You want some of this? Come on. You gotta eat it slow. So Dolly likes it. So if Dolly likes it, must be pretty good. Hope you like it too. So now we'll take this inside. We'll carry it inside so we need to suck it. We're gonna say the blessing. Lord, bless food by receiving. Just stand and pray. Amen. Thank y'all watching the video. See you next time.